Hello and welcome to God Talk. Today I want to talk about a phrase by this man, Epimenides, who lived in the 6th or 7th century BCE. They say Epimenides went to sleep in a cave for 57 years and when he woke up he found he had the gift of prophecy and he's supposed to have helped Athens rid itself of a plague. There's also a paradox named after him. He wrote, all Cretans are liars. The only trouble is, it's thought Epimenides was himself a Cretan. And if he, a Cretan, said all Cretans are liars, does that mean he was lying? And this phrase isn't true. Or is it tr true? Well, anyway, the phrase I want to look at is this one. In God we live and move and have our being. It may be familiar because Paul of Tarsus, St Paul, used it in his speech he was giving in Athens. You can find it in the Bible in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17. For me, it conjures up the picture of fish in the sea. The sea is all around and in the fish, it's the fish's environment. In the sea, it lives and moves and has its being. And so Epimenides and Paul are saying God is our environment. In God, we live and move and have our being. It's one of my favourite God sayings, and I like it for several reasons. First of all, it reminds us that God is everywhere. God is omnipresent in the theological jargon. It's an almost literal use of the word in. God is our world, the environment in which we live. God is everywhere and wherever we are, we are in God. Secondly, it suggests that one way to explore God is to explore those things that we live and move and have our being in, like life, love, personhood. These are the things that sustain us and make us. And in exploring them, we're exploring God. And thirdly, it suggests that belief in God does not have to be a great struggle to get our head around impossible questions or go on a long search. We are in God already. So we need to relax into the presence of God. So another picture of faith. It isn't like taking an exam. It's like taking a bath. It's relaxing into the presence of God. In God we live and move and have our being. Another thought-provoking phrase. And I hope you enjoy thinking about it for just a few moments. Do subscribe and enjoy further God Talks.